From Tampa to St. Petersburg to Sarasota to your neighborhood, it's Studio 10 Live, your source for entertainment, lifestyle, and fun. All right, if you are ready to wean yourself off of carbs, let's be honest, it is not easy. But there are some simple ways to turn your favorite carbs into healthier ones. Herbal pharmacist David Foreman joins us now with just how to make that happen. Now, David, what are the, uh, the research showing us the difference between low fat and low carbohydrates? So, like 40 years ago, we, we migrated from you know, eating the you know, beef and the fat and all that stuff, and then everybody said that was bad for you. So we went low fat, no fat. Oh, no cholesterol, all that words. stuff. So, right. what, so what's left? Then people went to cholesterol, low fat, no fat foods. Which bacon, are, bacon, which are bacon. No, that, that doesn't count. No, 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 yeah, no, right on. No, actually, you know what? Eat your bacon. Go right ahead. Yes. Just try to buy the nitrate free thing. But like so we migrated to starchy foods, and, and regretfully now we feel like that's been a huge fiasco because we know that through science now the best diet really is a low carb diet and getting more fat and getting more protein into your diet. So. Regretfully, now we're all hooked on carbs. Right, <laughs> right? we love right. our carbs. Okay. Oh, do you like carbs? I, I love carbs. Yeah, I mean, we live, love carbs. I, love them. Yeah. I do try to but stay I did, away, I though. I lost the most amount of weight when I cut carbs out of my diet, though. All right, so they're really hard, though, right? It's I mean, hard, we, yeah. these, they're all the foods Literally, that we like, like pizza. Breakfast, yeah. lunch, <laughs> dinner. Yeah, right? So, I mean, yeah. they're all the things that we love. They're inexpensive. They're easy to make. They're, you know, they're, they're taste Awesome. So how do we go? So how do we work these into our diet in a healthy way? Like what what things right. out there can kind of switch this over to healthy carbs? So my best thing is if you can't resist your starches, I'm going to teach them how to resist you. Okay. All right. All right. So <laughs> so the idea is um, so if you want to enjoy your pizza and your pasta, you have two choices in my opinion. You can either eat it cold. Okay. When you eat it cold, the starch bec uh, becomes resistant to digestion, oh, so you, you get you get a few fewer calories. For me, I, I like to use I hate cold pizza, cold pasta. I hate cold anything that's you know starchy personally, except for chips. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I use a white kidney bean extract. Uh, the name of the ingredient is phase two. It's easy to find in most of your health food stores. And what will that do? Uh, it's a starch blocker. And so do you take that before you want to enjoy all those starches or just at the beginning of the day? Any starchy meal or snack. Last night um, I got home late from uh, California and I ate starches because they were easy to prepare. And I took two phase two capsules beforehand and it blocked 65% of the caloric effect. So you don't have to feel... So if you were going to eat three slices of pizza, it's wow. basically saying that the caloric effect of two of those three slices, the, at least the bread part, has been eliminated. Right. Or, you know, you oh. can eat it cold. Which so we don't have to eliminate this. things in our diet now. Not as much, right? Not as yeah, much. Right. You just have to be smart about it, okay? The next thing is rice. People love rice. Yes, well, there's we a, do. Well, there's a cool study out that showed that if you, for every cup of rice you use, whether it's brown or white rice, I don't really care in this case, you add a tablespoon of coconut oil, cook it, and then when it's done cooking, put it in the refrigerator for 12 hours. I know this is a long process. That's why I'm a I'm a starch but blocking you carb you blocking guy. Me yet. You had right. me a coconut and it so could so work, you, yeah. Then. So you cook the two together. You after it's done cooking, you put it in the refrigerator, let it sit there for 12 hours. Okay. Then you bring it back out. You get a skillet, heat it up. I usually use a little more coconut oil to give it a little extra flavor. And then when you you have your rice, you've negated 60 percent of the calories. Wow. So cold pizza, pasta, 50, 65 percent with phase two. 60% here, and then if you're going to make bread, yes. keep it in the refrigerator, in the freezer, take it out of the freezer, put it in the toaster. Oh. Don't let it thaw out. Freezer to toaster, toast it, 39% less uh, effect on your blood sugar. Wow. Oh, I like this. I know, right? Oh, so like you can still do it, right? You can still eat it, I know. I always yeah. say carbs are on sale today. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're half off. <laughs> <laughs> Good like stuff, David. Like Thank, Thank you. you, as always. If you guys want to get more information on this or any of the other topics that David has, so interesting, just head online to herbalpharmacist.com, or you can find him on Facebook as well. All right, now as temperatures heat up, it's important to have healthy, on-the-go, and more importantly, fridge-free snacks. We've got some great ideas for you right after the break.